This is Rich Steves, Managing Editor at TMC. I'm here at IT Expo Las Vegas 2013. Joining me now is Carl J. Weaver. Carl is a mobile business development executive. Carl, welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much for welcoming me. You told me a little bit about your background. I think it's fascinating. Tell our viewers. I have spent my entire professional career focused on helping Western companies sell to the Chinese mobile device ecosystem, the OEM and ODM handset manufacturing ecosystem in Taiwan and China. Uh, I just returned after five years working in China for Jamalto, promoting contactless mobile NFC and embedded uh, mobile security for the mobile device. I returned uh, in July. I'm here at the show for a very specific reason. While I'm presenting at one event on mobile, uh, on patents and li licensing for mobile devices, and I, f I will focus on the Chinese world as a matter of fact, um, actually I'm very interested in the M to M space because I know that most of the handset manufacturers are planning to take contactless mobile NFC and use it to, uh, to eliminate discovery and pairing for Bluetooth. And of course, Bluetooth is used in the cars for hands-free communications, uh, calling and receiving. So it's my humble opinion that in the M2M space in the future, you're going to see contactless mobile NFC used there as well as what most Americans expect NFC to be used for, uh, for ISIS in particular, which is for mobile payment. Uh, actually, NFC is very, very unlimited. I've, um, I've been at Jamalto there promoting this as a key ecosystem enabler to the MNOs, the OEM handset vendors, banks, um, and the entire ecosystem. I, I want to do the same thing for the, um, the M2M and essentially the connected car, the telematic space. This is my objective. And the way that I've been able to uh, manage my career is I first uh, started learning and I, I speak, read, and write Mandarin Chinese. And this is a very critical thing if you're dealing with the OEMs and ODMs because essentially they're all manufacturing in Taiwan or China. South Korea to a lesser extent, Japan. And um, in order to sell to that particular ecosystem, you have to have a bunch of different skill sets, very different than the, ex than the norm for most Americans. Um, I've spent 10 years in Taiwan, three years studying Mandarin Chinese, seven years working in the, in the, in the computer industry in the 80s, and then I spent uh, most recently five years in the wireless space with Jamalto. That's basically half my professional career on one side of the Pacific Rim, and on the other side, my home is Seattle. Seattle's a great jumping off spot for helping Western companies sell technology to the Chinese uh, uh, mobile device ecosystem, which is in essentially Taiwan and China. So it sounds like there's a, a, quite a difference between um, where our country is in, in terms of some of these technologies and what you saw when you were in China. It's unbelievable. Uh, and it's not just China for contactless mobile NFC. It's actually Europe in general. Uh, and much of the uh, developing world, because they're using contactless for many different purposes. Um, uh, it's just that the United States has evolved very slowly for contactless mobile NFC. Uh, and for some people, NFC means no functional clue. <laughs> well, right. I, I want to change that in now in the M2M space uh, with my, my, I track mobile devices, I track mobile technologies, um, and I help companies sell the technologies to the ecosystem. I know that NFC is going to, use, to be used as handoff for Bluetooth, and of course, it's going to play, I believe, in the future, a very key role uh, in the uh, connected car space, the so-called telematics infotainment space. So it sounds like an exciting area to be in. It sounds like you've got a lot of great knowledge. If our viewers want to know more about you and your thought leadership and what you bring to the table, where can they find that? Well, I have a an older vehicle to evangelize my public speaking called newporttechnologies.biz. Uh, but actually, I have delivered, in the past five years working for Jamalto, I delivered 45 public speaking presentations on contactless mobile NFC payment and embedded security, as well as about 10, about 10 or 20 videos on YouTube. I started uh, publicly speaking and uploading my, uh, my videos on YouTube around 2004. Um, and I kept on doing that with each, each additional company that I work for, helping to open up and penetrate the, market, the greater Chinese markets. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time and sharing your thought leadership with us here. And uh, we appreciate your, your presence. It's a pleasure. Thank you.